What is going on, guys? Grave here. Today, I'd like to talk about uh, some things that have been kind of been discussed lately or some rumors kind of going around World War II Vanguard. And that is coming, of course, from another leaker. And there's only really two leakers that are usually pretty spot on with most of their stuff. And of course, this is a leak, so you can always take it with a grain of salt. But uh, the World War II OG, so that's pretty much the World War II ghost, has stated there's been a lot of things going on within Sledgehammer, a lot of issues. Of course, a lot of complaints after, you know, all, all the leaks came out about the game being another World War II game. Of course, after people knowing that Sledgehammer is going to make it. And really, we're starting to find out that Sledgehammer has kind of been thrown into this. I talked about this in the past video. Kind of been thrown into this like uh, Treyarch was thrown into Cold War. Kind of just thrown in at the last minute. Uh, so they really had about a year, year and a half to really get to working on this. And a lot of us have, have been seeing things on the internet over the last several months since like the end of last year into this year where Sledgehammer was just now hiring a lot of people for the team. Now, of course, there may be more people working on it uh, from some of the other, you know, uh, divisions within Activision, some of the other companies that work with them on games. We're not quite sure exactly who all is going to be making this game uh, with Sledgehammer, but we do know that there are some issues and there's been a lot of complaints from the fans. Uh, the fans are not really happy to hear about another World War II style game. Um, there are some rumors right now, and like I said, this is, like I said, uh, a rumor kind of speculation. Some of this stuff, of course, comes from inside sources, but it all can be taken with a grain of salt. But there's still no certain release date for Vanguard yet. Uh, usually we find out about Call of Duty games, you know, usually around E3, something like that. So usually within the next couple months, we'll hear something about it. They said there are all kinds of talks as of late for a revamp of Modern Warfare, well, Modern Warfare, of course, which came out, you know, the most recent Modern Warfare that came out in 2019. Um, they're talking about doing some things with it, talking about adding some more stuff into Cold War. Uh, this is kind of leading to a lot of speculation that Vanguard may not really make sense to be released this year considering Sledgehammer has had such little time to work on it. Now, will that happen? I'm not really sure, but I find it interesting that all this information is kind of being leaked out there coming from inside sources that work wherever, you know, that find out this stuff. But this will be the first time that I can remember, and I might be wrong, that a COD didn't come out every single year, uh, in, in a long time anyway. I can't really see Activision really putting this off unless they think the game is going to be an absolute mess, unless they think that nobody's going to buy it. Um, I don't really think that Activision thinks like that. Uh, they see all the money that the games make between microtransactions, whatever the case may be, now that they have uh, you know, a free kind of map system where they're giving out maps and updates for free but you know a lot of the stuff that people want are purchasable uh, purchasable things within the you know the store itself so i'm not sure if they would do that i mean they probably could i mean a lot of people have suggested that they would like to see a you know a longer cycle for COD, uh, for cod games um, even though we have three developers i still think it would be great in my opinion i've talked about this a lot on the channel combining all these companies that they have and make a game every year and a half every two years i think it would be a lot better uh, you would get a lot better games out of it. But um, I just don't see Sledgehammer really, uh, or Activision either one, uh, not making a game this year. The rumors out there are saying that it's not a good year for it. There's so much problems. There's so many complaints about the game that they may just delay it. I would be really shocked, but I just want to let you guys know kind of what's going on, what the rumors are about World War II Vanguard. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Would you like to see this game delayed? you like to see a whole different game made, and this will probably what a lot of people will say because they don't like the World War II setting for Call of Duty a lot. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you think it'll actually come to this? Do you think they will delay the game into maybe next year? Do you think they're trying to make it maybe just for new gen? They're con concerned that uh, players are not going to have, you know, these consoles to play this game on. Uh, well, they've already said that they're going to make the next couple titles for both generations, so I don't think that's really it, but I'm kind of curious what you guys think. So, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.